Foster parents in southeast Wisconsin are providing loving homes for children in transition. For a number of reasons, those kids may not be able to live with their parents and need a safe, safe and stable home. Children's Hospital of Wisconsin Community Services always looking for new families to take on this important work. And Langston Verdeen is uh, the out-of-home trainer and recruitment supervisor for the program. Joining us now to talk a little bit more about what it takes to create a foster family. Great to see you again. Yeah, thanks for having me. Well, let's start with the basics uh, in terms of uh, someone seeing this right now and thinking, I wonder if that's me. Could we do it? What do you look for in foster parents? You know, the, the process to become licensed only takes about two to three months mm -hmm. uh, for someone from the start, from when you call us and attend a meeting, uh, informational meeting to the time you're licensed. So I typically will tell people, you know, don't uh, get worried about why I can't do this. Think about the many reasons that you should be able to do this. The the, the wonderful kids that we have uh, in in our foster homes who who need loving homes who uh, are typically you know older kids or we have a tremendous uh, need for sibling groups or homes for for sibling groups mm -hmm. um, and teenagers as well. So if you love kids, if you have patience, if you have love to share, uh, then consider becoming a foster parent. It's a great uh, step. If you have children of your own, Langston, can you can you also still consider being part of this process? Absolutely. The vast majority of our current foster parents mm -hmm. have children of their own, of, of all different ages, whether mm -hmm. they have a, a, a you know relatively new baby or they have teenagers who are about to be going off to college soon. Uh, it definitely won't prevent someone from, from becoming a foster parent. You know, some of these turn into amazing stories of adoption as well. Uh, I know I've talked with some families who kind of view it almost as a, as a trial period. Well, if, if we can do this, we could certainly consider uh, adopting, but it's a way to sort of tread lightly into those waters? Yeah, you know, foster care is always meant to be temporary. That's our, our about 80% of the kids will go back home in the first year. So it's, it's shorter term for the most part. Some will end up turning into adoption and that's a fabulous thing as well. And in most cases, their foster families are the ones to adopt them because they have a, a great relationship with that child already. Important to note as well that uh, one of the things that you do is provide support to these families, not only in screening them and finding out whether or not they're okay to do this, but you provide support all the way along the process so that they never have to feel like we're doing this alone. Absolutely. So for the people who say, can I do this? Uh, you're not doing it alone. We have a 24-hour uh, foster parent advocate who's available for you. This is a licensed foster parent who, who gets it, who knows mm -hmm. what it's like to go through the ups and downs of, of being a foster and adoptive parent who they can reach out to 24 hours a day. We have a 24-hour uh, on call uh, phone line where you'll always be able to reach us. Uh, and not only do you have your, your ongoing social workers, uh, th th those social workers have support, so they're not overburdened mm -hmm. as well. So there's a lot of systems of support that we put into place uh, to be able to support the foster families to care for the kids. Well, thanks for coming in and talking about this once again. And let's uh, see if we can get some more people involved in the program. For more information on becoming a foster parent or any health issue from Children's Hospital of Wisconsin, you can head to TMJ4.com. We set up a link on our website. More news.